y'all we're starting with bulgarian split squats because it's the exercise i want to get stronger in i highly recommend doing the exercise the exercise you struggle with first also start on the leg that's the weakest Bulgarian split squats are the hardest to do because I can't even talk yet because once you get down with one leg, baby, when you get to that second leg, who does it burn, y'all? I don't know, y'all. Many people like Bulgarian split squats for the glutes, but that's not where I feel the most burn in my glutes, so I don't know how long I'll keep doing them, <laughs> which goes to show you really have to do what works for your body not what the world tells you to do because one exercise could be great for someone's glutes or quads but for yours it could be the worst thing ever or you could see no results with it so try exercise out if you don't like it leave it alone for a while and then come back to it you may like it the second time around but as of now me trying Bulgarian split squats to target the glutes it's just not one of my, it's not one of my faves. I hope that changes soon, but if not, I'm okay with that. We just finished our first set of back squats. I started at 15 reps and I'm working my way down on the reps and up on the weight. So my second set was 12 to 15, up the weight by two and a half pounds. Third set is 10 to 12 of them. And then my final set is like eight to 10. So. Morning y'all, so it is 6.45 and we're headed to the gym. It's a 
upper body day so we haven't eaten much this morning is today wednesday i'm gonna be doing some upper body and cardio i'm excited about the cardio because i started doing the stairmaster and y'all literally no joke which i already knew but now it's like set in or something because i haven't done it in so long but this morning we had a half a bagel and then i have two girl scout cookies that's my pre-workout meal i haven't even had a coffee sometimes i actually will have a break so i'll train monday tuesday and then break on wednesday i'll probably break on thursday and then friday saturday i'll do my last two days of the week Staying downstairs today for my workout, my entire workout, just because it's crowded upstairs. I'm not trying to grow my upper body. I do work some um, upper body work in between my exercises, um, like on glute day. machine y'all is absolutely my favorite machine for the lower back this gives you that what do they call it i don't know but y'all know that defined arch in your back but this gives you that like i'm gonna do three sets of about 15 to 20 reps your back is gonna hurt now don't get me wrong but it is amazing just make sure you keep your butt scooched back and when you go back keep your shoulder pushed back like this right Friday and we are training glutes again. We're doing a heavy glute day. I've already done my hip thrust. I just didn't record it because I felt as if it was a little repetitive. We're about to do some Romanian deadlifts next. Um, my hip thrust went really well. Even though my weight felt really good, I couldn't go up as high as I wanted to because I didn't have the proper padding and it was just hurting way too much. We're going to start with one set of six to eight and then we're going to go to four to six. 46. Y'all stay tuned for that. Y'all, I'm not even supposed to be super set in my RDLs, but life really been trying to fuck with me today for whatever reason. So I refuse to have a bad day. Like I decided to add in some glute bridges, 20 of whatever weight I'm doing. Y'all, we only have one more set left, but I wanna note that when I'm doing my glute bridges, my butt isn't touching the ground. I am just going down far enough to get a slight hinge. And then I'm coming back up and squeezing my glutes. So when you're picking your weight up off the ground, it's definitely important to note that you should use your knees. You never want to lift to where you're like bending over like that, right? Use your knees, drop your butt, squat down, and pick up the weight off the ground like you're about to do a squat. It protects your back. I've hurt my back that way before. It's not fun. 